Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a watch in for review. This is a Seiko 5 automatic blue dial made in Japan version. Um, SNZG11J1. Got a retail price of uh, 315 Um Pretty cool. Let's open this up. Let's see. Nice Seiko box as they come in. Oops. And here it is. This is comes on like a kind of like a NATO. Um, let's see if I can get this off the pillow. Brand new watch, so still has you know stickers and paperwork and everything. It's running the 7S36 automatic, 23 joules. So you got to shake this thing. No hand wind, no hack. So it's like an SKX movement, but it does have the date. So that's why it's the 36 variant, not the 26 variant. So it's got the day date, I mean, is what I'm saying. But let's get this thing going. And from what I understand, this thing's got pretty good loom too. But there it is ticking away. God, look at that. It was pretty cool. It's a blue dial. You got a real nice um, chapter ring there. There's your movement. Look at that. You can see the movement. Seiko, all in-house. Everything in-house here. It's kind of like a bead blasted case. Not a sapphire crystal. Mineral crystal. But pretty legible. Made in Japan down there. Let's get, get the dimensions out of the way. <clears throat> so... We are coming in at, I believe this one's a 42. Yep, 42 from tip to tip, or from side to side, I mean, and then tip to tip, like right at 50. And then thickness, 11.6, so actually very thin. Crown is kind of small at 5.9. And then our lugs coming in at 22, 22 lugs. So more of a modern size. I know they make some of these in 40. So this is your, your 42, a little bit bigger, but um, it's, it's fairly nice, really. Um, nice sizing. The strap, I'm definitely gonna get rid of. Um, I, I mean, it just seems too stiff. So something like this would be cool on like a rubber strap or something like that. This would be a good, good watch just to wear, you know what I mean, beater watch. But um, screw down case backs, uh, let's see, screw down crown, yeah, it actually, it has a screw down crown. Um, actually, no, it's not a screw down crown. I'm sorry, but it does have a screw down case back and it's a hundred meter water resistance, 23 joule movement, automatic Seiko five. And I like that it's made in Japan, Japan, <clears throat> excuse me, made in Japan. So this is, uh, actually all made in Japan, which is pretty cool. And then you have polished in between the lugs. That's kind of different, completely bead blasted and then polished in between the lugs, and then you have the case back, and under the case back, all polished. It's a little different, huh? But cool. Not a bad looking watch. Let's get it on my wrist. See if I can strap this on. I haven't taken the hang tag off or anything. I'll do that later, but Let's see how this fits. And like I said, this strap is probably going to have to go because it just feels kind of stiff. Although, it doesn't seem that bad. Here it is on my 7.5 inch wrist. So, not a bad looking watch, really. There's down the barrel shot. But, um, pretty cool. And I like this blue dial. And it's pretty dark. It, it, it's a kind of a darker blue, but looks good. It almost looks black in some, some, some light in here, but hey, you can kind of see the blue a little bit more there. Yeah, you can. Okay, nice. Let's do a loom shot. If I can take this off. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's see something here. Hang on real quick. Let's get this thing charged. There we go. So this is cool. I just picked this up. It was Jama Shop, pretty affordable. It was like a hundred and something bucks, 140 bucks, something like that. But um, 
I thought it was cool because not only the price, but um, the loom. Look at that. So this is a cool field watch. Real nice loom, affordable, automatic, day and date. So, you know, not a whole lot to complain about here. I like that. So if you look, you've got that day and date bordered in white. The uh, date wheels in white, black font. I would rather, I really like when they do the date wheel in the same color of the dial. It just really, it, it it's a much better looking watch when you do that. But, uh, and then the outer chapter ring is like raised. And then the center piece kind of dips down. So it's real different, but very cool. Very good loom. Nice watch for the money. Can't complain. So there you go, guys. This is the Seiko, uh, what was it? Model number, I believe, was... What was it again? Reference. There we go. SNZG11J1. Japan model. Nice little tool watch. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.